Do you think the people who used to sound the alarm about Donald Trump, his former primary opponents in 2016 or others, who are now not saying anything, that they actually have an extra obligation? Because if they once thought he was objectionable and now aren't saying anything, isn't the implicit message, well, maybe he's not so bad. Yeah. That they play an extra role in that word normalization. Absolutely. I mean, so many of those individuals thought he was objectionable, and now he's actually done, obviously, even more to threaten our freedoms, and yet, you know, they, they've sort of come around to embrace him. I don't know how those people look themselves in the mirror in many instances. And some of them, Marco Rubio, I mean, he's on the Intelligence Committee, Foreign Affairs. He understands the stakes of a presidency. Right. He knows better. People whose families fled regimes like Castro's Cuba um, have a particular obligation. You know, people who have fled tyranny and come to this country had this country to come to. And if we go down the path of the destruction of democracy in the United States, um, that, that, that means there's no place that's safe.